Hey guys, this is my seventh Python tutorial video, and this video is going to be focusing on how to make a countdown. Yay! Yippee! Hooray! You know, like five, four, three. Well, you get the idea. So, um, a countdown is pretty much like what we're going to make. We're going to make like a very simple countdown with like it counting down every second. So, in order to use seconds and make it count down we have to first import the time function and to make the program less complicated we can import the sys function as well then we have to print please enter a message to be displayed now we can also and to accept the variable value we have to do input for a now we're doing please enter a message because in a countdown you're going to want to um, have a message to be displayed because there's no video that no video feed so it's going to be done entirely in the console then when that's done we can do print um, enter a number and b is going to be the integer value See, because um, a was originally the um, because a was the original input thing for the message, and now b is the integer input value for the number. Now, using what we learned from the um, from the condition statements video, we can do while b is greater than zero, zero then we can do we can indent like this in Notepad++, plus plus. So, but because otherwise the program won't work correctly. Uh, that's the thing. So if you're using the idle um, code editor, you you can just press spacebar. You don't have to like keep press. No, I mean you can just press enter. You don't have to keep pressing spacebar because it's not needed. Idle will take care of that for you. So if b is greater than zero. Um, how about this? So we do time sleep one, print b, b minus equal one. Then we do if b is less than one, actually, no. print a now what is what am i doing here B well the thing is in this program it's pretty much saying so if b is greater than 0 and while it's greater than 0 time dot sleep 1 like meaning it will delay the program for 1 second then print b, it will print your b variable constantly, and then minus equal 1, meaning it will subtract 1 from b, and then it will save that variable into the b variable, overwriting the current b variable. So, let me explain it in simple terms. So, if b is 5, and, b, and 5 is greater than 0, which it is, time dot sleep 1, it delays the um, uh, program for a second, then it then you print b, which is 5, then it subtracts 1 from 5, so you get 4, so now b is 4. And this is going to continue until b is less than 1, so you print a, which is your message, and then sys.exit, meaning it will exit. Now, in the case this program will not commence, you, you can just do print, actually, you can just make it simple and do input error. Then you do sys.exit. I'm going to be using sys.exit very frequently now. So let's give it a try. Okay. Um, oh. Apparently Notepad++ rec thought I was doing in inconsistent tabs. Now, this is due to... um. This is because of this indent in here. You you actually, if you don't do it properly, it's not going to work. 
that's what I just noticed now. See, the thing is with me is that I'm used to, I'm actually used to the idle code editor. So, um, please bear with me if I don't get it straight on. So, if you indent your, pro you can, so in Notepad++, I now know, you should indent your programs with spaces only. Because if you don't use spaces, then, um, it won't work, like I said, I keep saying. So, if b is greater than time.sleep1, b minus equal 1. So, okay, then if b is that, you print sys.exit, else, error. Okay, now we have to correct this. Otherwise, like I keep saying, it never works. Now we save that, and then we run this. Okay, please enter a message to be displayed. Okay, let me just correct that for you. Okay, so, how about Happy New Year? Oh, I misspelled that. Enter a number. Now, what should I enter? Um, ten? Ten... 9, as you can see, the minus equal 1 keeps subtracting, and then it prints the variable because of the while loop. It's a loop, you see? And then when 1 is finished, it will do, um, Happy New Year, because it prints A, and then it's finished. So, actually, just to make it a lot simpler, we can just do input A. We save that, F5, run it. Okay, please enter a message to be displayed. How about subscribe to subscribe to LeadNet? Enter number. Well, enter a number. Sorry. Uh, let's go with twenty. As you can see, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen. Okay. Um. So while this countdown is going, you can actually see the minus equal one over here working. Because the print B, it's going to keep going until B is less than 1. As you can see, it continues. When 1 is done, it will, it will say subscribe to LeadNet. Now, in a program, you kind of do want to make it neat. So, yeah, we can, we can just make it a little more neat. And we can do print. Actually, yeah, I think this... I think this would be satisfactory. Uh, once again, subscribe. Actually, no. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Enter a number. Let's just make it simple. Five. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Okay, see? It's going to print this thing. I just did that to make sure you, you you see the message. You don't have to do that. I just did it. So this actually shows you a little more about condition statements because, um, yeah. It just shows you how, um, if, how Python has several options. And, you know, the minus equal one, it doesn't, it's not just limited to one. We can even do minus equal 3. Okay, we save that. Run that. One, actually, no. Um, so, quiz time is apparently the message. And let's make it 18. So, 18, 15, 12, 9. Six, three, then it's zero. Quiz time. Ooh, it's quiz time? Interesting. And before we get to the quiz, I'd like to first tell you that time sleep one doesn't even have to be one because you can even make it time sleep two, time sleep ten. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's Python. It's very, it's, it's a module. It's, it's supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be easily manipulatable. Uh, yeah. So then, when that's over with, okay, let me let me just keep closing this. 
So apparently, this is quiz time. And the quiz for today will be in the description box below. Alright then, so uh, thank you guys for watching and have a good day. Peace.